This local couple is charged with keeping nearly 30 animals in such horrible conditions, one dog had to be put down. We've learned this is not the first time the couple has been under investigation for animal neglect. They are now in the Putnam County Jail. We want to warn you, the details of this case are disturbing. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avignier just went through the 19-page arrest report. He's joining us live from Interlochen, where 29 dogs were removed from the property. Eric? Yes, well, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office says that uh, this appears to be possibly a case of dog breeding that got out of control. Now, when animal control officers arrived at this home, uh, they discovered dogs everywhere on this property, including inside the home, where they say conditions were unimaginable. 57-year-old Patricia DeRosiers and 49-year-old James McLoon are each facing 39 counts of animal neglect. Investigators say the couple was in possession of 29 dogs that were so badly neglected that they had to act quickly to remove the animals. One of the dogs had to be put down because investigators say it suffered physical trauma to its lungs that went untreated for more than two weeks. Now, according to investigators, there were dogs outside chained to a tree as well as dogs stuffed into crates on the porch with little room to stand. Those crates even had water bowls that were covered in feces and urine. Inside the house, though, a more disturbing discovery. Investigators say dogs were stuffed into stacked crates throughout the homes that were overflowing with dog waste. In fact, they say dog waste was all over the floors, the walls, and the furniture. Investigators say none of the dogs had clean water, and some of them appeared to be emaciated. The couple who live here were taken into custody after the state's attorney's office issued a warrant for their arrest. Now, coming up tonight, more on this investigation, and I'll also explain what happened to those 29 animals that were removed from this property. Reporting live in Interlock, and Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.